So I guess what we'll start off with here is tell us a little bit about what you're speaking today to the Alberta Young Farmers and Ranchers. Sure. So we uh, had a great discussion today with uh, farmers and uh, young farmers and ranchers from across Alberta and I was talking about business structures. So a lot about what goes into joint venture agreements, partnerships, corporations, uh, sole proprietorships. We talked a little bit about the tax around each of those different business structures. And then we got into some detail about how I actually and, and my practice utilizes those structures in terms of reorganizations and particularly succession planning. So we talked a little bit about butterflies, estate freezes, how do we organize our business operation essentially as it can, as it compares to uh, to parents and children and that whole su succession discussion that's going on on farms really across Alberta, across Western Canada. Are you seeing any common trends in these discussions when people come in? You know, I'm seeing so many similar examples. Now, the tax is always different in, in each of them. The organizations are different. But again, what I see over and over again is just the importance to have that discussion. Actually sit down with your parents, your grandparents, your aunts and uncles, and have that discussion about what the succession le look like for this farm family. I do a lot of work on estate, estate fights, or I don't do a lot of litigation, but I'm involved kind of on the solicitor side in situations where families don't get along and the lawyers are getting paid and they're going to court. And what I would say the biggest antidote to those situations and those issues is communication. We need as a family, and my advice always is to, to the family, sit down, talk about it, communicate about it, you know, run through the issues. When do I want to get, if I'm the farming son or daughter, when do I want to get involved in the farm? When is that transition supposed to take place? Again, the issue that I see over and over again is just a lack of sitting down, communicating it out, and building that estate plan on a go forward. If you want to get into, into litigation, into dispute, it's a delayed communication. It's no communication at all. So that's what I'm seeing um, from the families I deal with. What's the common difference between when a family walks in, can you usually tell within the first couple minutes whether they've had some discussion or no discussion? You can tell that they where there are some issues, definitely, in certain families. Um, my view is families are always different, and a family that maybe comes in a little more difficult at the beginning, if done in the proper way, if the communication, the discussion is done properly, can actually get through that and be some of the best examples of families that I've dealt with. So yes, you can see some of the issues right at the outset. You can see if a uh, son or daughter or maybe an in-law or mom or dad sort of has hesitancy about certain aspects of the succession plan. But again, it's like lubricant for a tractor. Good communication is the solution to a lot of family issues, particularly with regards to farm succession. So why was it so important to come out to this event here? Well, you know, I'm just so passionate about the ag industry. I come from a farm uh, background myself and just seeing the really the future of agriculture in the room it's not very often that you speak to a group of young farmers and ranchers who are about to take on their operations or who, who are in the midst of farming in the midst of succession discussions just seeing sort of the passion that they have for agriculture but also some of their challenges I really felt there was need to sort of break the ice and, and, and really go through some myths and realities on succession just to help them start that discussion with their family, get that communication started. Eric, anything you would like to add that I haven't asked you? Nope, sounds great. It was a great uh, event today and I appreciated being a part of it. For more video, pictures and audio on this story, go to ruralrootscanada.com.